Good morning. Good morning, teacher. How are you? Fine. Good. Yeah. And How was you? Your, good, good, excellent, great. How was your day yesterday? Yesterday was mm, very busy. That's good, right? Yeah. Because we we have to to go out to, to shopping and to do um, some things are necessary the bank the the store run some errands. Oh. Uh, yeah, you had to, to you had to run some errands. A, uh, er errands. Errands. Yes. E A R N E S. -S. Errands. Yes. Errands. Okay. Maybe we out during four hours. Uh, you, you were out for four hours? Yes. With my husband and my daughter. Maybe uh, from 11, no, 12 to 40 and a half. 430. Yes. A long time out. Yes, but it was necessary. Yes, it was necessary. I I took a shower three times <laughs> because each Going back uh, and forth. yes <laughs> three times, but it's necessary too. Yes, and. What else? I, I I did my homework, but uh, I think it's a little easy. That's good. <laughs> a little easy. Can you uh, send the picture? Yeah. I. I finish today in early. That's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's more new material, vocabulary, different forms to. And, to and use. it was easy. No. Yes, no, it was. Yes, it was. A little. Okay, a little. Bit. <laughs> okay. What happened with Javi, Karen, Miguel? They are not here yet. I'm going to send a message. It's a little late. Send yes, me. it's a little late. I know. How was your day? No, yesterday. How? Really busy. Yes? Yes, yesterday I started at 8 in the morning and I finished around 10 p.m. Oh. <laughs> I was really busy. Very, very busy. There. I sent a message. I hope they uh, uh -huh. okay. join us soon. Yes. Uh, I'm going to get started. Let's get started with the class, yes? Okay. 
Okay, now I just changed something on the computer. Can you check if you can share something, Lauren? With my computer? Miguel, good morning. Good morning, Miguel. How are you? Hello. Yeah, I bet ah. you are. <laughs> <laughs> We too, Miguel. Okay, you can share something later if you want to. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. Okay. For now, I'm going to start with this. Good morning, Fabi. How are you? How are you, Fabi? Hi, how are Hello. you? Hello, good, you? Good, I think. That's really good. Oh. <laughs> Mire, the teacher and I, we are tired. Tired. <laughs> <laughs> and you? No. Uh, no. You're good. Yes, very good, very good, very good. Perfect, that's awesome. Let's get started today. We start with unit three. Oh my gosh, we're moving on on the on the book. Uh, <laughs> world culture. World cultures, yes. What do you see in the pictures? Um, the world. The world. The world. Yes, different cultures, different people. Yes. Yes. Different ways we do things. Yeah? Do things and... Dep we eat different food. We make different clothes. Right? Right. Yes. So let's, let's get started. Unit, in unit three, you learn how to... Let's see, Fabi, can you help me with the first one, please? Yeah. Use the simple present, Fasi. Yes. To talk about traditional things. Lauren? Talk about manners using verb plus ing and to plus verb. Yes. To plus verb. Uh, Fabi. Yeah. Uh, talk about different culture, 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 yeah, culture, cultures, and customs. 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 Use expressions like "in fact" to sound more direct when you speak. Use, of course, to give information that is not surprising or to show you understand or agree. Are we finished? Yes, only that's all. Okay. Wow, I think I did that one. So, in the next picture, what do you see? What things do you see? Food, dance. Yeah, food, yes. Food. Music. 
Mariachi. Yes, mariachi. Uh, umbrellas. Yeah, umbrellas. And estatua, estel, statue. Statue. Yes. So we're talking about world cultures. So what do you see as far as world cultures? Number one is traditional world. food. From where? China. Japan. Japan, China, something like that, right? Yeah. What a picture number two. What is it and from where? Mexico. Mariachi. Mexico. Yes, that's <laughs> right. What about number three? What do you see in number three? I don't know. I don't know. It's a garden. It's, no. Festival? No, it's festival, festival, no? It's a festival, right? Yes, there from are where? many, many people. Rio de Janeiro, I know. Ah, Rio de Janeiro, yes. Okay, that's a good one. Number four? Uh, dance traditional. Spanish traditional dance, but where do you think it's from? Uh, I don't know, maybe. South America? Maybe South America, yes. Oh, what is number five? Uh, a state of... Yeah, so you can see my statue? Ah, statue. <laughs> statue. <laughs> of United States. Ramona. Okay, yes. And number six? Uh, China. Umbrellas. Okay. Traditional. Yes, that's right. Javi, can you read, please? Uh, before you begin. Mm hmm what are some of the cultural, cultural, traditional in your country? Traditions. Tradition in, in your, your country. country. Yeah. Think of all typical. Think of a typical what? Uh, dish or drink. Dish or drink. So what's a typical dish in Acapulco? A pozole. Or pozole. Yes. Drink? Uh, mezcal. In Guerrero, mezcal. <laughs> Good. Lauren, next. Song or yeah. type of music? Yes. Mm. Chile frito. Yes. Taiwana. Yes, that's right. Yes. Miguel, next. Miguel. Miguel. A typical know. festival. A typical festival here in Acapulco. You festival don't know? You? Yeah. No. Yes, ladies. A typical festival. Tour de Pozolero? It's not a festival. Festival. Feria de diciembre. Okay. The December parade, Christmas parade. Mm -hmm. and the tigers dance. Okay. La Nao, Pandangro. Yeah, there you go. Good, good. Uh, next one, ladies and gentlemen. Custom. Yes. There are many, many different customs in Guerrero. Yeah. Yes. Can you let's mention one? Eh, la chilena. Falda floreada. Ah, skirt. Mm, yeah. uh, <laughs> floral print skirt. Yes, oh, Fabi. Oh, <laughs> um, long, very long. Yes, that's right. Uh, and sheer or blows. Uh, yes. Bordada. How do you say bordada? Need it. Need it. Need it. Need it. Like this, like. Mm -hmm. Wait, give me one second to make a whiteboard. With Shakira, with Shakira. Yes, okay. freckles. Uh, need it. Need it. Need it. Bordado. Yes, need it. Need it. Yes. Need it with Shakira. 
Yeah, with chiquitas. Okay, that's good. All right, and the, the next one. And let's everybody say good morning to Karen. Hi, Karen. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Karen. Karen, how are you? Hello, she's there. Good, good morning, Karen. Okay, so the next one will be a typical symbol. Symbol, sí. Ah, el... Y quebrada. Sí. Ah, okay. Bien. Okay, yes. What else? Eh, en Guerrero, el, el escudo. Uh, that would be the national sim symbol. Ajá, the national ajá. symbol. Ajá, y se... Tiger. And, uh, jaguar, you mean? Ah, jaguar. Yes. Jaguar, yes. Jaguar. Hey. jaguar. <laughs> And the last one, handicraft. Oh. Mm -hmm. All in a last boxes? No. Boxes, no. Uh, all in a last what? What is that? Boxes, all in a last? I don't know what is all, all in a last. Uh, it's a typical. Ah, uh -huh. like a box. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Uh, what else? Hats. Hats, yes, that's right. How do you say palma? Palm tree. Palm, palm tree hat. Uh, hey, that's an interesting question. Uh, that what you said is palm tree. Yes. And that will be palm tree leaf. Palm tree leaf hat. Ah, uh, okay. Palm tree leaf. Only leaf. Yes. Leaf. Perfect. Let's go to the next one. Traditional things. Can you read it then, please? What not to miss. What not to miss. What what place is this? Can you recognize this city? Acapulco. Oh. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Acapulco, really? This beautiful picture is Acapulco? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Four. Wow. I, I have to go out more often. <laughs> Acapulco uh, Bay. Acapulco Bay. That's right. And what picture is this? What place is this? Cholula Place. Oh, my gosh. It's also yeah. really beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Really now, let's imagine. Uh, no, let's, let's not imagine. We live in Acapulco. So, if a tourist comes to Acapulco, yes, a person from Puebla comes to Acapulco. And the person asks, what's good here in Acapulco? Oh, yeah, like what one thing you shouldn't miss on a visit to Acapulco? La Quebrada. Yes, La Quebrada. What else? The beach. The what? Yeah. Ah, yes, of course, the beach. Yeah, what else? Or Parra Vieja. Yes. De Lagoon. De yeah. Lagoon. Yes. Papagayo mm. Park, maybe. Uh, yeah, Papagayo Park. Uh -huh. Good. El Fuerte de San Diego. San Diego Fort, yes. El Zócalo. Ah. Oh. No? No. Yes, it's Zocalo is a really nice, yeah, but all Acapulco is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> now the Zocalo is very different. I don't like yes. it. Yes, it but is different. It is. Yeah. Yes, it is different. Uh, well, uh, it, it's a good, yeah, what else? 
Maybe. What about food? What La about tirolesa, food? ¿cómo se llama? Yeah, zip line. Ah, zip line. Zip line, yes. Now imagine we go to Puebla. We are from Acapulco, but we go to Puebla on vacation. And we ask the people, what is good here? So what's one thing you shouldn't miss on a visit to Puebla? I don't know. We don't know, right? I... We don't know. So we have to ask, correct? Now let's look at this. Oh. Oh my gosh. What is this? La quebrada. La quebrada. What is la quebrada? Uh... It's an it's a natural wonder. It's a cliff, and it's a symbol of Acapulco. Yes? Yeah. It's a tourist attraction. It's a beautiful place. Good. What about this picture? What is this? Food? Yes, but what is it? Um, shrimp. A shrimp cocktail or a ceviche, right? What are these? Handicraft. Uh, hardly what? Yeah. Handicraft. Handicraft. What are they? Uh, they are seashells. Seashells? Yeah, seashells. And what about this picture over here? Traditional dance. Traditional dance. Yes, there you go. Okay. Let's go for the next picture. Can you read, Lauren, please? We ask people what one thing you shouldn't miss on a visit to South Korea. Aha. Uh -huh. What's one thing you shouldn't miss on a visit to South Korea? Uh, next. What's number? What's next? Peru. Uh, and Japan. next, Japan. And Japan. Next, Australia. Australia. Do you have your books closed? Yeah. Yes. Yes, you do? Perfect. What you're going to do, oh my gosh. What we're going to do is listen. I forgot. Give me one quick second, please. You're going yes. to listen to the audio. And you're gonna write down what things do they talk about? Yes? Yes. Yeah. All right. Now give me one second for this to load up. All right. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? No. 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 All right. Hold on. Give me one second, please. Oh. Well, yeah. I do have to do this. It's right here. Lesson A, you hear that? traditional things. Yes. One, oh. getting started. A, listen to four people talk about their country's culture. What four aspects of culture do they talk about? What not to miss. We asked people, what's one thing you shouldn't miss on a visit to South Korea, Minhee Park, Oh, Korean food. We have so many different dishes. One typical dish is kimbap. 
It's made with rice and vegetables and wrapped in dried seaweed. And it's eaten cold. It's delicious. Peru. Elena Camacho. Well, Peru has some beautiful handicrafts. A lot of them are exported nowadays, and they're sold all over the world. But it's still worth visiting a local market. These earrings are made locally. They're made of silver. Japan. Sachio Ito. A Japanese festival like the Sapporo Ice Festival, that's really worth seeing. It's held every February. They have all these sculptures that are carved out of ice, and they're carved by teens from all over the world. It's amazing. Australia. Robert Flynn. Oh, you should go to a performance of traditional Aboriginal music. They play this instrument. It's called a didgeridoo. It's made out of a hollow piece of wood and painted by hand. It makes a really interesting sound. Sorry, guys. Okay, so what did she talk about? Food. Yeah, she talked Ra about food. What about the food? Can you... Rice and vegetables. Yeah. Rice and vegetables? This dish is yeah. with rice and vegetables, but I don't know how is the name. Uh, okay, so we'll check that, okay? What about this picture? Mm. Uh, and hundred crabs. Handicrafts, yes. Handicrafts. What about the handicrafts? Uh, 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 visit in the market. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, visit the market, uh, okay. What about this picture right here? Festival, Japanese okay. festival. Yes, and this? Traditional music. Traditional music. Now, we have to listen again and tell me what what is the name of these things? What is the name of this dish? Uh, what are okay. these? What is this and what is this? Are you ready? Yes. Yes? All right. Page 22, Unit 3, World Cultures, Lesson A. Traditional things. 1. Getting started. A. Listen to four people talk about their country's culture. What four aspects of culture do they talk about? What not to miss. We asked people, what's one thing you shouldn't miss on a visit to South Korea, Minhee Park? Oh, Korean food. We have so many different dishes. One typical dish is kimbap. It's made with rice and vegetables and wrapped in dried seaweed. And it's eaten cold. It's delicious. Peru. Elena Camacho. Well, Peru has some beautiful handicrafts. A lot of them are exported nowadays. And they're sold all over the world. But it's still worth visiting a local market. These earrings are made locally. They're made of silver. Japan. Sachio Ito. A Japanese festival, like the Sapporo Ice Festival, that's really worth seeing. It's held every February. They have all these sculptures that are carved out of ice, and they're carved by teens from all over the world. It's amazing. Australia. Robert Flynn. Oh, you should go to a performance of traditional Aboriginal music. They play this instrument. It's called a didgeridoo. It's made out of a hollow piece of wood and painted by hand. It makes a really interesting sound. Okay. Now, you can begin, guys. Share your answers. Talk to your classmates, yes. Go Visit ahead. Korea, 
Nate Dish is Kimba o Kimpa. Kimpa o Kimba. Kimpa. Kimpa, yes. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, continue. En, en Perú, I don't, I don't listen to Nate the hand. Yeah, there's no name. Just what is what about the the, the handicrafts? The handicrafts, dishes. Uh, mm -hmm. Around it's um it's snowed around the world. Okay, around the world. Mm, Chris, the uh, Nay Festival is ice festival. Ice. Okay. Ice festival and the last one is is in February. Is in February, okay. Good. And the last one? The last one? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know the name. No, me too. Pero me neither. Karen couldn't hear the audio. No, Karen? Oh my gosh. We'll, we'll check this again, okay? But uh, let me try this. What we're going to do is check uh, the article, okay? And read your uh, answers. There. The, fr the first one is? Para kimba. No, kimba. Kimba. <laughs> kimba. Good job, ladies. And the next one? Just to visit local market. A lot of are exported. Are exported, yes. Next. Yeah. Ice festival. The Sapporo. Sap, Sapporo Ice yes. festival. And That's the last it. one? Yes. What is a didgeridoo? Uh, kind of flauta? Flute, yeah, kind of a flute. Yes, are you? Now, which one is the most interesting? Uh, um, the food. The food? Okay. Yes, Miguel, Karen. Okay, let's go for the next slide. Can you read, Lauren, please? Yes, rewrite the sentences below, but keep the same meaning. Use the comments above to help you. Yes. So. This is the the, uh, the exercise. You eat kimbap apples. So how is it in the article? Kimbap. Kimbap. If you don't remember, we'll check the number two. Okay, let's go. Number two. People make earrings like this locally. Mm, and, the, and, and the article is earrings like this. I don't know. <laughs> no? All right, number three. You paint didgeridoos by hand. And the article says didgeridoos. No. No? 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 Let's practice the conversation, please. Begin with Fabi. Uh, you're in South Korea? Yeah. Uh... Oh, Korean food. We had so many different dishes. One typical dish is kimbap. It's made with rice and vegetable and wrapped it in dried seaweed. Seaweed, yes. Seaweed and it's it cool. It's delicious. Eaten. It's it. delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 in Peru? Eaten. Yes, in the next one? Uh, 
¿Hay? Sure. Ah, bueno. Well, Perú has some beautiful handicrafts, a lot of, a lot of what? Them. A lot of, a lot of them are explored, no, no way. Exported. Exported, no way. Nowadays. Nowadays. And they're sold all over the world. But it's still worth, worth visit a local market. Visiting. Visiting a local market. These earrings are made locally. 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 Uh, they're made if sil of silver. Okay. Lauren? A Japanese festival like the Sapporo Ice Festival, that's really worth seeing. It's held every February. They have all these sculptures that are carved out of ice. And they're carved by team from all over the world. It's amazing. Good, and then the last one. The last one. Oh, you should go to a performance of traditional Aboriginal music. They play this instrument. It's called Didgeridoo. Uh, <laughs> it's made out of a hollow piece of wood and painted by the hand. It makes a really interesting sound. Great. Now, here are the answers to this exercise. Eaten. Oh. Yeah, can, can you write the answer? I can't write. Oh my gosh. You, Fabi? Mm. No. It's difficult. Miguel. 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 Karen, are you there? He can. Come on. He can. Okay. Hi. No puedo. Ok. Mm, I like this. May. Are made. Are made. Amen. Yeah. And the last one. Our... Kale. Ah, no. Painted. Painted. Oh, Gigi. Okay, now let's check your answers, okay? Number one. Number one. Eaten. Kimbap eaten cold. Kimbap eaten? No. No. No? No. Mm -hmm. Oh. Is eaten. Ah, falta el is. 
Yes. Yes. So, is it business yeah. are made? Next. Are painted. This one is a do is painted. But this is in singular, right? Uh, it's painted. It's painted. Wait, this is in singular. Uh, did you do? And in exercise, is it in singular? Uh, no. It's in plural. So it's in plural. are painted. Are painted. So on this one right here, what we're missing is yes. So let's try to track him back. It's in cold. Okay. King well, a kimbat is eaten, eaten cold. Mm. Number two, earrings like these are made locally. Earrings like these are made loc lo como? locally. Locally. Loc local. 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 Yes. Locally. Locally. Okay, good. Uh, number three. Didgeridoos are painted by hand. Didgeridoos are painted, painted by hand. By hand. And Didgeridoos. Oh, this is where you were supposed to write your answers. Oh, yes. Now tell me what other sentences uh, can you find similar? Similar? Yes, yeah, similar. It's made with rice and vegetables. Yes, can you write the answer right here? Miguel, please. Yes, please, Miguel. Write for me. Okay, next one. What other sentence can you find similar in the other one? Hmm. Made of silver? Yes, but the complete sentence is they are made of silver, right? Yes, they are made of silver. Yes, Miguel. The last one? Yes, the last one. I don't know. It's called a uh, digiridu. 
I don't know. Again? It's called a didgeridoo. Yes, it's called a didgeridoo. The last one, Miguel. Okay, now here are more. Look, let's go number one. Korean food, we have so many different dishes. One typical dish is kimbap. It's made with rice and vegetables and wrapped in dry seaweed. And is eaten cold. Okay, next. Peru has some beautiful handicrafts. A lot of them are exported and they are sold. Yes, they are, are made and then again are made, okay? Next, Japanese festival. It is held, are carved. And the last one. Is called, is made, and painted. Okay. Now, are these sentences different? Guys? No. Yes, I they're have different. different. We All have I... a simple present. Yes? The simple present passive. Yes, we use the passive when the doer, yes, the doer, the person that does the activity, the actor of the verb. The action, the actor, the doer of the action is not known or not important. And we, here we have an example. This is the active form. In the active, we have, how do they make kimbap? Repeat. How do they make kimbap? Kimba. They make it with rice and vegetables. They, they make it with, it with rice and vegetables. and vegetables. In the passive form, look what happens. How is kimbap made? How is Kimbap made? What happened? What happened there from one to the other one? What's the difference? Bird to be. The bird to be, yeah. What else? The verb. The verb is yes. in past. Is in present. As uh, no past participle. Past participle. And what is the other difference? Mm. The subject is erased. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Okay, so how do they make kimbap? Is how is kimbap made? Now let's repeat the let's practice this the next one. It's made with rice and vegetables. It's made, made with rice and with vegetables. Rice and vegetables. Today it is hard or cold. Today it is hot or cold. They eat it cold. They don't eat it hot. They eat it, they cold. Eat it cold. They don't they eat don't it hot. Eat and in the passive is is it eaten cold hot or cold? Is it eaten hot or cold? Or cold? It eaten cold. It's not eaten hot. It's eaten cold. cold. It's, it's not eaten hot. hot. Okay. Next, the active. They carve the sculptures out of ice. They carve or they sculpt the sculptures out of ice. The sculptures are carved out of ice. The sculptures are carved out of ice. Out of ice. Now, you read the next line, uh, please. If the door of the action is important, you can introduce it with pi. The sculptures are carved by teams from all over the world. Now, well, let's uh, check this. In the active, we have this example. Peter builds a house. And in the passive, what happens in the passive? Past participle. Yes. In the active, we have an object. Yes, and what happens to the object in the passive? In singular? It transforms into a subject, right? Oh, okay. Okay, next it says, uh, in the active is Peter builds a house. Peter is the subject. And what happens in the passive? Peter becomes like Peter. the object, right? Okay. And the verb, what happens to the verb? Change how? Change to a two parts. Huh. Yes, <laughs> verb to be with past participle, correct? Yes. Easy. And the next example we have John right here. Can you read, uh, Javi, please? John washes the dishes. Yes. And in the passive, Lauren? Uh, the dishes are washed by John. Yes. And the other example we have here, this teacher and student. Javi, can you read please the next sentence? Okay. The professor teach uh -uh. the student. Uh -uh. Teaches? Yes. Teaches the student. And in the passive? Mm. The students are thou by the professor. Yes. Easy. Uh -huh. Easy. 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 <laughs> All right. You remember that in the passive, we need to do this. Yes. We switch places and we transform the verb. 
Yes? Yes. You want to practice? Yes. yes. Okay. Can you read, Lauren, please? What are... Oh, okay. People eat hamburgers at McDonald's. Hamburgers mm. are eaten at McDonald's by people. Is that true or is that not true? Hamburger. Yes. True. Yeah. true. yeah, it's true. Yeah. All right, now let's change the word hamburgers. And give me something else. Mm. Let's practice with this. French papa. Yes. French fries. Uh, French fries. Mm -hmm. mm. People eat. Yes. People eat. French. French fries. French fries. French fries. Yes. Uh, at McDonald's, yeah, French fries are eaten at McDonald's by people. By. Uh, by people. Yes, by people. Okay. What about this one? What is this? Mm, I don't know. Cinnamon roll. Ah, it's mm -hmm. delicious. Yes. Oh, yes. Cinnamon Cinna roll. Cinnamon roll. Yes. Can you please cinnamon complete roll. the sentence? People eat cinnamon roll at McDonald's. Cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll rolls are rolls are eaten at McDonald's by people. Okay. What other thing do you see in the picture? Cookies. Cookies. Yes. Can we practice with cookies? Chocolate. Come on, let's practice with cookies. 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 Mm. Mm. People, people eat cookies. Cookies. Yes. No? Yes. At yes. McDonald's. Next. Cookies, cookies are eaten are at eaten. McDonald's by people. Now, what is this? Nugget. Yes. Or Chicken oh, no. nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Yes. Now let's practice, please. Javi. Uh, people eat chicken nuggets. Mm -hmm. Yes. Chicken nuggets at McDonald's. Yes. Chicken nuggets are eaten at McDonald's by people. Easy, right? Easy. 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 Now imagine we are tourists from where we're we are here from Acapulco and we don't know where do they eat hamburgers. So what is your typical common question? You ask a person that lives there, a native. The question is, hello sir, where do you eat hamburgers? Yes? Mm -hmm. And you and he can say, "Oh, people eat hamburgers at McDonald's." Correct? Yeah. This yes. This is the answer. Okay. Now, how can we make this question in the passive? This question in the passive. In the passive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. It's like this. Well, ahí está. Can you ask, please? Mm, where are hamburgers eaten? Hamburgers. Hamburger. Ham, yes. It sounds like a J. Hamburgers. Yes, hamburgers. Yes? Okay. Again, please, uh, Fabi. Where are hamburgers eaten? And the answer? Uh, um, hamburgers are eaten yeah, at McDonald's. Good. Hamburgers are eaten at McDonald's. Next question. 
Yes, yes, I know, sir. <laughs> Me too, I like Burger King. Okay, next question. Can you ask, please, Fabi? Um, where, where are hamburgers sold? Yes. And what is the answer? Hamburgers, Hamburg. hamburgers are sold at McDonald's. At McDonald's, yes. Next question, Lauren. Where are hamburgers bought? Yes. Hamburgers are bought at McDonald's. And the last one, Karen. Where are hamburgers made? Hamburgers are made at McDonald's. Easy. Easy. Easy? Yes, easy. Yes, it's easy. <laughs> now, uh, Lauren, can you begin the first one, please? Where are crafts sold? Crafts are sold at local market. Karen, next. What are they made with? They are made of clay? Out of clay. Clay. Out, out, of, clay. out of clay. Yes. Fabi, next. Who are they made by? They are made by the natives. 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 Yes. Lauren? What are they used for? They are used for decoration. Now, is that true? Do you agree with these things? Yeah. 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 All right, perfect. Let's go for the next one. Yes? Yes. yes. Uh, Lauren, can you start, please? What's the typical candy in your city? Mm -hmm. Who makes it? Wait, wait, wait. What are... number, one, number one. What? <laughs> The typical candy in your city. It's a question. Um, what the typical candy in your city? Yes, ladies, can you answer, please? Um, the mm. typical candy is barra de coco. How do you say? Coconut. Cocada. Cocada or coconut Cocada. candy? Yeah. Cocada in Acapulco. At Acapulco. No. Just cocada. The typical candy in our city is cocada. Okay. Or are cocadas. Next one. Who we'll make it? Uh, the people? Uh -huh. <laughs> sure. People make them. Yeah. People make, right? Yes. yes. Oh my gosh. Now, how do you transform this into passive? Mm. Cocada. Yes. Uh, are made yes. by people. By people. Are made easy. Easy. Okay, easy. Miguel, next question, please. What are the ingredients? Coco. Complete, complete answer in passive. Complete, uh, complete in passive. The cocadas are. are um, yeah. Uh, are what made? Made. 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 <laughs> Are made. Uh, uh, coco. With. Uh, with. With, coconut. with coconut. 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 Yes. Next question, Karen. Where do they sell it? In local market. In complete. Uh, they. they Yes. Are sold yes. at the market. At the Perf market. Perfect. There you go. Next one. Mm. When can I find it? Cuando. 
<laughs> no yes. Spanish, no Spanish. Every day. <laughs> Every day, yes. So, complete sentence in passive. The uh, cocadas are fine, no fun. Are fun. Are fun. Every day. Every day, yes. And the last one. Um, how can I eat it? Yes, and the answer. Uh, Como, how? Yeah. Sí. Your hands and your boca. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe as a dessert. Yes. Can be complete sentence in passive. Bocadas mm -hmm. are eaten. Yes. Continue. As, as a dessert. A as dessert. A dessert. Yes. Yes. Or in this case, because it's already candy, we already have the word candy over here. So it's kind of already a dessert. So what I was going for is how can I eat it? They can be eaten alone or with raisins. What's rice? All great. Yes, this raisins. Grapes that are really small and wrinkled and a little old. Mm. Yes? Yes. All right, next. Can you make a sentence? And the first thing we can do is find the object. For example, in this picture right here, what is the object? Yeah. The object is the book. Uh -huh. Correct? So we yeah. start with the book. For a book is is what, ladies? Red. 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 A book is red. Yes. Uh, what about this one? Right here. What is that? Laptop. A laptop. Continue. A laptop. Is used. Used. Yes. There you go. Okay. Uh, what is this? Picture. A painting. A, a paint. A picture. A painting. Continue. Is made. Is painted. Yes? Yes. Okay. Can you think of something different? Um, yes, please. Or are they the same? Um, Everything is the same, right? Yes. Okay, let's go for the next one. What do we have here? The same. Okay, can you give, can you give me a, a, okay. a sentence with this? What is the object? TV. The TV and the sentence? Uh, a television is watched. Yes, watched, good. And the next one? Movie. Oh. The object is the movies. So the movies are are gone. What is gone to? Gone to. That's it. The movies are gone to. 
out. What? I don't understand. The movies. The movies. The movies what? Are. Are. Gone. Too. The sentence is weird. <laughs> uh, maybe a little yes. bit, but uh, it's often in the English grammar. The movies. Are. Gone. Too. Just like that. The movies are gone too. Okay. Next. Number three. Video games. Yes. Uh, the video games are played. 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 Next. Music, music. Mm -hmm. is listened to. Yeah, music is listened to. to. Next. The food is red. All right. Red. 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 The internet yes. is surf. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Yes, surf. Uh -huh. The internet is surf. All right. Continue, please, with all the rest. Um, an instrument is played. Perfect. Next. Shopping is gone. Two. Two. Okay, next. Uh, Play. Sport is played. Again? Sport is played. Yes, a uh, sport is played. Next. A sport is played. Yes, a uh, sport is played. Next. How about do in this part? A sport is a sport is done. Or played. Or played, yes. Okay. Next one. Spend time with the family. Mm, the family? Mm. No, nope. that, that's not the object. That's a compliment. Okay, yeah. The object is time. Really? Time is spent. Yes, by and the complement? No. And the complement? By time family? No. With the family? With the family. Again? With the family. Yes, again? Uh, time is spent, is spent with the family. Next one. Out. Friends. Our friends. Are gone out with. <laughs> friends are gone out with. Friends are gone out with. Yes, friends are gonna quit. Okay. And then the last one. I. Study is study. Oh, yes, that's, that's good. Yes. If study is a, a, a noun, it's good. All right, next one. Now, can you give me a complete sentence with any of this? Pick only one and give me a sentence, please. The pincel is used 
Perfect. Children. And now, can you ask, can you make that a question? Question? Yes, can you make it a question in passive? Uh, mm. What use, no, what pencil use? Um, no? Maybe, but what? Or who? Who? Who is pencil use? Who? You mean how? I don't know. I don't know what you're trying to say. Maybe like this. How is a pencil used? Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, yes. There you go. How is a pencil used? Somebody else? What about here? Uh, hmm. uh, the coffee marker is used 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 by people. Perfect. There you go. Now, can you read, Lauren, please. Complete the questions about your country's culture. With yes. a simple present passive. Yes. Then, then ask and answer the questions with a partner. All right. Number one, ladies. What's the national intent? What is intent? What you seeing over here? What are they doing? Right over here. What are they doing? Sing. Uh, sing. Sin. And then is Igno? Yes. National anthem. Oh. Okay. So the question is, when is it sung? Number two. What's your favorite traditional dish? How? Is it made? Yes. Next. What, what is served? I don't know. Okay. Continue. What do you think at the most important festival when? He celebrates. No. Is it? Yes. Celebrate? Yes. Can you type the answers, Lord Karen? Mm, I don't know. Yes, you know. No. Wait. <laughs> yeah, yes, it moves, huh? Sí, no sé por qué. But you can type. Are you on a no. computer or on a cell phone? No, my cell phone. Your cell phone, okay. Poor dog, what's wrong with him? I don't know, they are crazy. Casi. Number, uh, what's the next one? Number four. When is it war? Yeah, war. Five. War. Five, what are your national sports? Uh, is play or play it? 
No. Do you? No. I don't know. <laughs> no, I can't. It's okay. Number five, Lauren? I don't know. Okay. Uh, Go ahead, read. Number what? Five. Five? Uh, national sports. Are they? Yes, are they? Played. Played. By both men and women. Yes, and the last one? Are they played? Yeah. Yes. Are and they the last played? One? Mm. Where is he played? Again, what's Where number six? Where is it played? There you go. All right. Now, please ask and answer the questions with your classmates right now. What's the national anthem? Yeah. When is it sung? What's the national Number one. Uh, the national anthem is sung at play at soccer play soccer no at play soccer is not uh, entirely correct iniciando <laughs> at play soccer every monday at a school maybe mm -hmm. yes javi um, at soccer matches you mean Soccer matches? At soccer games, not at, not at play soccer. Mm, yes. At soccer games. Soccer game. Okay. okay. Next. Mm. What's your favorite traditional dish? How is it made? What is it served with? First, the first question. First, what's your favorite traditional dish? My favorite mm -hmm. traditional dish is green enchiladas. Wow. What is, uh, how is made? Um, they are made with tortilla and chicken with sauce. Good. What, oh, yeah. what do you think are the most important festivals when? The first question. Is it, okay. What, what do, you, do think? you think are the most important festivals? I don't know. Maybe Lanao? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and Angro? Mm hmm. All right, guys. We're finished for today. Okay. Yes. We'll continue tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow. We'll see how, yeah, we'll continue tomorrow, okay? And we'll finish tomorrow. Do you have any questions? Um, no. no. How was the class? A little difficult for me. Yes. Maybe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, a little yes. difficult. Okay. Uh, tomorrow we'll we'll check it in. Okay. Okay. Listen. Yes, right, it is. It's complicated. <laughs> 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 I agree with you. But you're doing good. Okay. You're doing good. See All you right, tomorrow. Guys. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank Bye. you guys. Bye, guys. Have a nice day. You too.
Bye.